Welcome to this Quick Bytes recording on HA Proxy installation for vSphere with Tanzu. We're going to go over the steps in order to install HA Proxy. But first, I must remind you preparation is key to the success of all aspects of vSphere with Tanzu. One of the things I do is I write down everything before starting. This ensures that I'm copying and pasting all of the correct information into all of the dialog boxes in the UI. Let's start first with deploying the OVA for HA proxy. You can either use a HTTPS or local file to upload, select your name and folder, select the compute resource that it'll run on, review the details, accept the license agreement. For this deployment, we'll select a default configuration, select our storage, and now our networks. I'm going to use VM network as my management network and workload DVPG as my workload network. Now using all of the settings we recorded separately, we'll start filling in the form. Now we'll input the host name, the DNS server, and the management IP in CIDR format. We should have recorded that earlier. Previously, we mapped out the workload management subnet, and that's where we got the values for load balancer IP range and virtual IP range and the gateway and the management IP address of the HA proxy appliance. So going back, we're now going to add the workload gateway and the load balancer IP ranges we already worked out in CIDR format. And then we're going to create a HA proxy user ID and password. We're now ready to complete the deployment of the OVA template. If you get all of these things pre-done ahead of time, it will make it a lot easier later when you're configuring workload management. When the OVA has been deployed, you can now power it on. Let's open up the HA proxy in the vSphere client. We're going to check the IP addresses that make sure that they are all set. The proxy first boots up, it creates a digital certificate that is used for TLS communication. You can find the value of that digital certificate within the advanced settings of the virtual machine and you'll see it as guestinfo.dataplaneapi.ca cert. We're going to retrieve that cert using PowerShell. This script is available for download and you will see a QR code at the end of this video to get it. When we run this script, we'll get back the result of the CA cert in a format that can be copied and pasted into the vCenter UI. So we're going to copy it here, paste it into our worksheet. We have it available when we are enabling workload management. This will make life a lot easier for you going forward. Using these links, you can download the PowerCLI script and get direct to the vSphere documentation for this feature. 